in today's video, I'm going to bring you a very, very sexy, sultry, soft, but bold, but glam look for the summertime. I have some nice rosy mauve colors on my lid. There's a little touch of sparkle and then we're gonna top it with lashes and a bold red lip. If you wanna see how I achieved this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so as always, we're gonna put our hair back. That is just the first step. I do not need hair in my way. I also have a mirror down here, so if you see me um, looking not at you, it's because I'm looking at my mirror. So first and foremost, we're gonna prime our eye. I'm using the Laura Mercier eye primer. It comes in this little tube. It's a skin color, so it's really good for the lid. I hear voices all around. The palette we're using today is the Lorac Unzipped Palette. Definitely one of my favorites. We are gonna mix this mauve color as well as this brown and put that all over the crease. This is making a sound. I hear voices. I'm going to take a blending brush with some of my face powder and just kind of blend out the colors as well as make sure that that brow bone is nice and blended. And with the powder adding to it, it's just kind of gonna add some highlight. I'm pretty sure this is Max Brick. Um, the lettering wore off on the packaging, so I'm sorry, but I'm taking that with a fluffy brush, just kind of any warm red brown tone color, and I'm gonna drag that lightly through the crease as well, just to warm it up a bit. Good job. Going back with a blending brush and my face powder, I'm just going to redefine that brow bone. Next, I'm going to take Unbelievable as well as Unattainable. <laughs> Me, Unattainable and Unbelievable. I'm gonna mix the two colors and I'm gonna apply that all over my lid with my finger. Because these colors are shimmery, sometimes the shimmer transfers into the crease, so I just take that crease brush and redefine the crease as well. A lot of eyeshadow um, technique is just blending, applying shadow, and then re-blending again, so that's exactly what I'm doing. That's gonna put a pause on the eyeshadow for a little bit. We're gonna head on over to the face. I'm using L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock Primer, and I'm going to apply this all over. Next, I'm taking my Garnier Under Eye Roller and just applying that as a base for my concealer. The two concealers I'm going to apply, this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have it in custard. And then this is the Milani Retouch and Erase and the color isn't fair. So first I apply the NARS and then I top it off with the Milani. Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. This is in the color Nude, which the color actually changed, so if you go online, it's no longer called Nude. And then I'm going to take my Sigma Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki, and I'm just going to buff this in all over my face, really focusing on blending out the product and just kind of applying a sheer tint to my skin. This is Milani's Shine Proof Powder and I'm in the color 04 Natural. I'm just going to apply that all over with a powder brush. To get into the smaller areas such as underneath my eyes and around my nose, this is the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. So again, I'm just gonna go in with the powder and apply that underneath. 
going to use two bronzers. The first one is going to be Hoola Benefit. I'm going to use that to carve out my cheeks. And then I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm going to apply that all over for a nice radiant glow. I'm going to be using the Sonia Kashuk. This is the wide angle contour to apply the bronzers. I hear voices when I'm in my bed. Voices. To blend out all that bronzer, I'm just gonna go in with whatever leftover product is on my powder brush and just kind of swirl it out and make sure that it's all blended in. For blush, I'm going to be applying the Ulta Mineral Blush. This is in Tiger Lily. It's a very sheer color, and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. powder brush to put that on the apples of my cheeks. In my head. If you find that you think your makeup looks a little too powdery or that the colors are not properly blended, I really like using this NYX banana powder to just really carve out those contour lines. Again, I take it with my large powder brush to contour my face, and then I'll take it with a small stippling brush to go underneath my eyes as well. I hear voices. Of course, we cannot finish this face look without champagne pop, so we're gonna use that to highlight our cheekbones. We're also gonna highlight the edge of our nose, our lip line, and also the inner corners of our eyes. My dream. If you're wearing makeup, I highly suggest you set it. This is the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray. It's the same makers of Urban K. I always like to comb out my brows before I go in with any powder or sculpting gel. I like to see what my natural brows are doing for the day. I am then going to apply Max Espresso eyeshadow and I'm going to just basically fill in any sparse areas with a angled brush. I hear voices. I am cursed as is. I like brushing upwards with the brush. I just think that untamed brows are very sexy, um, but I am going to trace them with the NYX Tame and Frame just to kind of carve the shape of them a little bit. And again, brush upward with the product. I find that it really blends and distributes the gel and powder well. Again, brush through them and also, like I mentioned, brush upward a little bit to give them some more body. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline Brow Precise. This is a volumizing gel and I'm just going to apply that all over my brow. Again, brushing upward to give them a little bit of a bushier look. I am gonna go back in with Unconditional and Unspoken with a small pencil brush and just kind of trace underneath my lash line to give my eyes a little bit more of a pop. I am wearing lashes today. These are the Ardell 120 Demis. I am gonna cut a little bit from the inner corner to make sure they fit. A lash tutorial is a whole nother video in itself, so if you would like to see that, comment down below. These are gonna take me a minute to put on, so I'll be right back. Of course, you can curl your lashes once you've applied them just to make sure that they blend in with your real ones a little bit better. I don't go too crazy, I do one pump and that's it. This All My Pen liner is perfect for lining the inner quarter. I do like to do a very thin line just to make sure that my lashes blend evenly, um, so this is such a precise little tool for that. I love adding glitter to the inner corner, so I'm just gonna use the Stila Glitter and Glow and I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle. It just kind of makes your eyes so much more romantic and it's a subtle touch that I promise you makes a huge difference. Always gotta blend out the brows again. Final touch is lipstick. I'm using Max Lip Liner in Cherry as well as the NARS Star Woman Lip Pigment. This is a great combination and definitely lasts a long time too. My So this is the finished look, very soft, very romantic, but very glam as well. I think this is perfect for a date night, 
although keep the kissing towards afterwards because your lipstick will be everywhere. Um, but this is great for a date, very subtle, very sexy, very bold at the same time. It has all the components um, of a romantic classic look. I also think this is perfect for summer with the bronzy skin and the red lip. It's just great for a hot summer night. Please let me know if you would like to see more tutorials on my channel and until my next video, I will see you guys then. Bye. Mwah.